Judge Reinhold. Judge. Hey, guys. <laughs> Live in studio, Judge Reinhold. Oh, oh. And you just broke oh, the microphone. No, I just dropped the mic. No. I, I just thought, but then I realized it was radio and nobody would see no. that. Oh, well, you're on TV, no. actually. You're, yeah. so, uh, we're, we're streaming this. The people, if they can... They can Didn't know that. <laughs> uh, they can watch uh, if they go to x96.com slash live and see you there grooming your mustache and, <laughs> and slapping the, your waddle. Tightening up the jowls. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, now, now uh, Mr. Reinhold. Oh, yes. Uh, sir, Mr. Reinhold. Uh, sir. The Honorable. Uh, you I didn't think. get the memo, apparently. I, no, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, shoot. I, you know, so we, so we you know, start looking at your, your resume, your oh, yeah? IMDb, because you're going to be here. Right. 1979. Oh yeah, is that you, you want to go that back? That, is okay, that when let's you, go. Is let's that go. when you first started uh, there? Yeah, you're listed as a, a character, Jeff Gordon on the Wonder Woman. Yeah, that series. was my first. Uh, actually, Deborah Winger played. Uh, yeah, Wonder Girl. Um, Wonder Girl. Yeah, and uh, there were a lot of people just starting out. Um, but uh, I had studied. My dad uh, spent some good money to uh, get me good training and. And so my first professional line <laughs> on camera was, Wonder Woman, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> and I had to be serious. And I was like, oh my God. Hey, Ray, let me do it again. That's yeah, yeah, Wonder right. Woman, I'm so glad you're here. Very good. Yeah. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. I believe you're it glad. It was excellent. Um, and yeah. uh, do, you know, do your dad spent money to get you trained? Yeah. You, you yeah. had acting training? Where'd you go? On yeah, all um, North Carolina School of the Arts. Mm. And uh, what I would do is <laughs> kind of travel around... Um, liberal arts colleges in the south depending on what plays they were doing yeah so if i could get in which wasn't all the time yeah, yeah. i would follow the parts yeah. I, I didn't care about graduating a lot of state you did a lot of stage work in those uh, yeah early, in the early days i did i did <laughs> yeah I ended up at the burt reynolds dinner theater in jupiter <laughs> yeah. oh wow. really yeah oh yeah, yeah I'm, i know all yeah. yeah i worked i worked as an actor in florida for oh, a while did you? long okay. time ago anyway. did you meet any of yeah. those burt reynolds buddies like oh, yeah. uh, charles nelson yeah. Riley and those guys i got i got a bathroom key i much needed a bathroom key for sally field <laughs> um <laughs> hey, and we were we were apprentices so which well, we got room and board and oh, and yeah. uh, that's, and food. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. it was kind of cool, wasn't it? Dinner. Yeah. I did dinner theater in Roanoke, Virginia once. Oh. It's the only time I ever did dinner theater yeah. at the barn. At the barn. The barn. Yeah, I've heard about that. Branton Dean's Barn Dinner Theater. Okay. In in Roanoke, Virginia. Well, what's great is uh, if they. Most people don't know they 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 pick the plates up before the show yeah. starts. Otherwise, that would be. And you get and you yeah. live there. I lived. Yeah, you live. That's right. I lived there, and they gave me, and yeah. I ate the dinner at the dinner theater, and then right. you do the damn play. And if the show wasn't going so well, you'd really, yeah. um, really <laughs> pour the drinks. You yeah. push yeah. the drinks at intermission. Yeah. Yeah. But you, so you've worked, and then once you started on, on in television and, and film, yeah. And then is that have you gone back to the stage ever, Judge Reinhold? <laughs> well, I did the Williamstown Theater Festival. I'd, I'd really like to do more. It's 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 hard to commit. Yeah. Because the one way to ensure that I get a nice job is to commit to a play, and then, <laughs> and then there's a conflict. And then they yeah. call you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but, but, but Kant, you you, you, you've it. never not worked since since then. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I think that's true. Uh, some of the films will never be seen. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, look, I look at the list, and there are right. some names you yeah, go, what the hell yeah. was that? <laughs> right, right. That's called keeping working. That's but right. But that's okay. That's yeah. great. That's okay. Yeah. Well, you got it. Yeah, you just keep uh, keep doing it and doing it and doing it. There's different reasons to do different things. Yeah. Uh, so you're, uh, you're here for Fan X. Uh, oh, uh, the Comic-Con. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Comic-Con yeah. Fan X. That, uh, Fan and X. so you're, are you here so both like days? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 are you here for both days? Uh, oh. Yeah, both days, sure. Uh one thing we heard was that uh, I think it's been around for five years. It's become one of the uh, the biggest attended shows. Yep. And, it's yeah. uh, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, get, yeah, get ready be to be there. loved by a lot of people oh, who are going to want to meet you. <laughs> like, uh, who are going to want to get people your don't picture. realize actors get. Um, the you know what beat out of him so much that we're ready. We're ready to be loved. And, well, Jess and said she's right. already got signed up to get the VHS copy of her Fast Times at Ridgemont High signed for you. VHS? VHS. Mm -hmm. I don't sign VHS anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Old tech. Absolutely. I don't sign the old tech. I'll sign anything. Uh, 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 fast it's family time, oriented. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, and, and, yeah. They're, and did we re you said they're doing a new Bever Beverly Hills Cop? Well... It's been, yeah. Maybe. I, it was a TV series sure. for a while. Oh, it no, was, for once, know. a pilot. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. one time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's jumped around. Well, no, what it was was just a committee thing. And no, it should be new. It should be like the old. And 
then it was like nothing mm. <laughs> <laughs> before our eyes. Yeah, they developed it to death mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, so and then, I guess people really were thought it was great to see you in Arrested Development. Oh yeah, yeah it was great. <laughs> I, I was that the, made me uh, laugh so hard. Oh, that's I loved great. It. <laughs> I was in the second to the last show, so um, people were uh, what. The ratings were great. I, I attributed it to me. Oh, yeah, it's the course. Reinhold bump. Yeah, that's right. The Reinhold bump. Right. That's what they like call a it. Speed bump. Yeah. Yeah. And and, uh, and what are you doing? Uh, you know, you're here at Fan X, uh, but what do you? What, what you got? I'm sure you're working on something now. Well, yeah. Um, uh, most of my contemporaries um, are either directing or producing, and and we just optioned the rights to a couple uh, true stories. Yeah, and so yeah, we're in for the long haul. You're not going to talk anymore about oh, it? Oh no, no, no! We have one um, about a guy named Ray Wallace who pretended to be Bigfoot in the Northwest Woods for 40 years. I, I've heard <laughs> about that guy. Yeah, yeah. They actually, the Humboldt County Times, before they were known for something else, uh, <laughs> they they coined the term Bigfoot. Yeah, because of of Ray's uh, <laughs> Ray's hoax. So, and, so uh, now, are you in this, or are you producing it or directing? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. I, I'd like to give myself a nice supporting role if it. I mean, if it was right. But well, you got to uh, practice that Bigfoot walk. You know? No, 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 no. That's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. No. You have to grow a beard. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I just want uh, you know uh, somebody wonderful and who's uh, on the star meter. You know, I'm still there. But like, yeah. Uh, Parker yeah. says, "Please tell Judge how much I love him." Ruthless People is one of the greatest uh, movies of all time. Oh, I yeah. Wow. Uh, Jake- I agree. <laughs> Jace, who brought you up, sent me a message just a minute ago. He's like, "Wait, the guy from the Santa Claus? I didn't uh, know who." Oh, he didn't really realize who you were until. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that happens a lot. Like, so he, some so kids he's, grew up with it because uh, yeah. it's been a perennial. Yeah. So they just know me as Neil. They don't know my name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's who it is. And uh, you've been uh, in uh, Judge Reinhold has been in so many movies and TV shows. My guess is a lot of times people just say see you in an airport or something and go oh you're you're that that guy right that right. guy Re- recently i i walked past a lady in the airport who and there was this gl- uh, glimmer of recognition and i heard behind me she was speaking into her her phone <laughs> talking to siri and she said judge wrangler no <laughs> judge wrangler <Yeah. laughs> i thought oh my what's gonna come up there I, it's you know a whole other career you know what's re- interesting is that uh, i i um I didn't realize. I just didn't realize what a distinctive voice you have. Yeah. Oh yeah, very much. I until I'm just listen. It's like it's on the radio. Yeah. And I, I if I heard your voice, I go, "That's my gosh, that's Judge Reinhold." <laughs> yeah, that ha- it, It's very nice. It happens a lot. If to, uh, people were like a couple hours over in the supermarket, <laughs> <laughs> heard you talking. So, I, I listen. You know, I, I don't. My <laughs> people. Uh, some people grew up with my voice, and and uh, um, that's. That's one of the advantages of being alive. They ye- so. they yell over those. Aisle. Is that Judge Reinhold <laughs> over there? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I run into them as they're coming around the corner. It was, no, it's very nice. Is very it nice. Uh, Judge? Uh, is that a, a nickname? Or? Yeah, my father was a lawyer, um, and uh, I looked uh, a lot like Winston Churchill when I was a baby. Uh, and, well, and most I, babies, yeah, you know. I, I, yeah, like a lot, a lot of, of babies. babies. Yeah. But I looked uh, especially like a, a judge, a cantankerous. Uh, old curmudgeonly <laughs> judge that presided over a case that he was on. And I reminded uh, my father of him. And so he started calling me the judge. And then a couple weeks later, it was judge. It just oh. stuck. The only people that have ever called me Edward are the police. So <laughs> that's your kind of... Oh, you've had... Well, you've or met the DMV. The, I know you've met the police a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, in, in passing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've had a great relationship with law enforcement since 1984. I was going to say, Hills Cop Beverly Hills Cop, yeah. you play a cop, they must yeah. love you. But if you get pulled over, if you get pulled over for uh-huh. a ticket or something, yeah. like speeding, uh-huh. and do they kind of go, oh, you, well, you're just... You're- I, I couldn't, I really couldn't uh, tell you. <laughs> how, how many times you've gotten <laughs> off? No. Well, <laughs> I, <laughs> Judge will be a fan X both days. Many opportunities to get autographs or pictures with him, and his celebrity panel in the Grand Ballroom is Saturday at 11. Oh, okay. I'll uh, be there. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday at 11. Okay, thank you. Exactly. Yeah, tell, tell it to tell, the wife. Yeah. Thank you, honey. <laughs> 
Saturday at 11. Uh, people can still get tickets at saltlakecomiccon.com. It's mm-hmm. not sold out, so mm-hmm. it's over here at the Salt Palace uh, tomorrow and uh, Saturday. All right. Uh, we got, we're going to. Anything else you want to tell us before well, we go away? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I have been involved in um, suicide prevention with veterans. There's uh, <laughs> Tragically, there's uh, between 23 and 24 veterans that take their own life every day in this country. And um, I always like to shout out the, the crisis line number for veterans who who really uh, um, need need a hand um, through to the other side, you know, uh, mm-hmm. where there's there's their brothers and sisters who've who've uh, who've made it made it through a very difficult time. So that number, if you're out there and you um, you want to talk to people that really care about you, is eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. That's eight hundred. Two seven three, eight five eight, eight. Sorry, eight two five five eight two five five. Then you press one, and it's a crisis line just just for you. And uh, let's call it. <laughs> that's uh, uh, why'd you get involved in that? I mean, what? Because there's twenty three to twenty four people dying a day. Just, that's, yeah. Yeah. I thought that was reason enough. Well, good, <laughs> work. Yeah. good work. Yeah. Thanks, right. Judge Reinhold. A pleasure to meet right. you. We'll Thank see you this you weekend. Too. You guys are great. Thanks a lot.